previously on The Walking Dead. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. <laughs> Fucker. No! No! Stop me! <gasps> Get me! Get me! When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. I can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Go on. You don't need to see this. Let's go. That's not the Kemi I know in there. I thought I could save him. Jane! Jane! Thank God. Stop. Relax. 
You need to walk slowly. You'll be fine. I can't do this. We can't come together like this. It's better if we spread out. You two will be fine. No, you don't understand. Just help us. We should all stay together. Isn't that safer? Exactly the opposite. through that cluster of walkers. There's too many. We'll make a cow catcher. Just... we need... We should just run for it. Or you could shut up and pay attention. Let's see. There. That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. Everything all right? No, I'm not all right. But I'll be a lot better once we get with the others. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? We gotta keep going. Don't worry. We're okay. We'll meet up with everyone soon. We'll at least be safe, I guess. We need to keep up a good pace. I know. I know. Just... I'm going as fast as I can. I know I should feel glad that we escaped. But I just can't stop thinking about the others. It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. Jane saved us. I don't know how we would have gotten out without you. You don't give yourself enough credit. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course! We panicked. We were scared. The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Jane, 
Do you know anything about... No, I don't. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. It was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. We can't just abandon it. Hey, whoa! I never said you should abandon it. I just mean that sometimes you can't protect everyone you'd want to. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey! I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. I'm sorry about your sister. Oh, damn it. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long, we were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides... Now, hopefully, we can figure out a plan. How's Kenny? I tried to talk to Kenny. He flipped out on me. He started yelling. Scary shit. I know. He probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. I've been nervous to even go near him. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. I should go talk to him. This is my fault. Hey, you did what you thought was right. That's all anyone can do in that situation. Sarita, God, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Hi, Kenny. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. Kenny, I'm so sorry about Sarita. Sorry, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. Why are you acting this way? Take one wild guess, Clementine. I tried to save her. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works! Not for the last time. Just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? Kenny's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. At least you try. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water, and it's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. I thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. 
Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands, too. What? Suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Seeing you people floundering the minute things don't go according to plan has just got me on edge, all right? Well, I don't exactly see you stepping up to help right now, either. This was the meeting place. We should stay here and try to make it safe. Clementine's right. If we leave here, they'll never find us. Okay, fine. In the meantime, I'll take Clem and we can go look that way. See if we find him. Clem took good care of herself back at Carver's. I want her watching my back. If they're alive, they can't be far. We can find them. One way or the other. Thank you. Listen, Rebecca. If anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know, but you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Look, I'm gonna level with you. I was just looking for an excuse to get out of there for a bit. And you should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. Well, then why'd we come out here? I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart. But I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other. They're not bad people. But there have been problems before. I don't always agree with what they say or do. Neither do I. Look at Kenny. I don't even know where to begin with what a liability he is. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. Rebecca's just worried about her baby. I mean, wouldn't you be? I wouldn't bring a kid into this world. And like you said, it's her baby. Not mine, or yours. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could have. What happened to your sister? <laughs> Seems we always want to talk about the end, don't we? You know, being a big sister is... well... it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. I don't even know why. Whoa, you really were mean. What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there. And I'd, I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Just friends. <clears throat> Jackpot. Bet these walkers got some good stuff. That one's not coming back. See what else he's got. Shouldn't we be looking for Luke and Sarah? In a situation like this, you gotta ask yourself. 
Would they risk themselves for you? We've got enough to worry about as it is. Besides, we don't know where they are, or if they're even alive. I don't actually know. They did lock me in a shed one time. Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. See what else he's got. I'll check this one. Hold on to him. Emma's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. Find anything? Um, stuff? Stuff? Just stuff? Well, you already sound like a teenager. Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there, but you weren't like them. It makes me wonder. I was with a different group before. That one worked better, I think. That was when I got my haircut like this. That's it. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. I'd jab my hand when I went reaching in. <sighs> Can never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Yeah, um... Sarah! Goddamn! Shit! Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. Look, we're gonna go do this, but it might not turn out the way you want it to. Are you prepared for what you might find in there? If they're in there, they're in trouble. And we can't wait until I'm ready. Okay, then. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Very effective. We can do this. Okay, just calm down. They don't sound too good. Clock is ticking. I'm ready. I know you are. We need to get a better look. Damn it! How about you get the close one, and I'll hop the fence to get the other. Go for it. Just listen to me. I can't help you if you... I can't help you if you don't. Nice work. You know what you're doing. Now watch this. Got a nice little addition to your arsenal. Take out the knees first, then put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. All right, let's get a look at what we've got on deck. Why are 
are you being like this? There's too many. We're not getting in while they're still hanging out over there. Maybe we can get them to move. <laughs> it's gonna take some work to get over there. Sarah, what the hell? Too many. We're not getting in while they're still what? hanging out over there. Maybe we can get them to move. Trick, huh? What do you want me to do? That's a lot of walkers. They look worked up about something. And what gets the get interest of the jump. dead? People. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over here. Then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? I mean, I'm just making it up as I go along. Let's make some noise. Right. What's going to grab their attention? I got you covered. Yeah, it yeah, does look pretty strong. looking for see if you can find something to distract them what are you doing why are you doing this not like this you can't do this We need to keep it going somehow. Damn it, don't do this. Sarah, I'm Let's not... find a way to keep it on. We can't stay here. Just get it together. What are you thinking? Okay, just, just calm down. If we lean him on the horn, it'll keep honking and draw the walkers. Just like moths to a flame. Give me a hand. Together. Okay, get up. Here we go. Come on. 
Come on. Crap. We gotta move it. It's locked. Then try something else. You're gonna need to use more force than that. Put some muscle into it. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. Help me block this! Hurry! Sarah, please! Who's out there? Luke! Clem? Oh, thank God. I can't believe he found us. When I heard y'all banging through the door... Luke, are you alright? I'm, uh, I'm walking. I can't do much else, though. Sarah... She's another story. I... I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? You gotta help. Sarah, look. Look, it's Clem. See, it's just like I told you, that they're okay. Sarah, come on. We... we have to go now. What's she doing? Can you get up? I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I... I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know, it's just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then... Well, she saw this mobile home made a beeline right for her. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? What if we help her to her feet and just get her moving? No, no, it, it's not gonna work, okay? She freaks out anytime you get near her. Listen, I, uh, they're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay, so we, we gotta get her up, or, or we gotta... Well, I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I can barely get her to look at me. Clem? Sarah, it's me. <laughs> Some people, you just can't help, okay? I've seen it before. No! <laughs> Shit. Maybe it seems like you're all alone right now, but you're not. Yes, I am. What about Luke and Jane and me? We came here because of you. All of us in the group. We're your family now. <laughs> Crap, we're surrounded. What? What about the skylight? All we got. Clem, there's no time. Clem. Listen, Jane might be right. We can't be kids anymore, Sarah. You need to grow up. Or you'll die. There aren't any other choices. Get to the skylight! Now! Come on, I'll boost you. What's going on back there? My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke, get over here and help me hold this! Clem, see what you can find. Can we use this? It's not big enough. The fridge! Forget it! That thing ain't budging. Find something else! Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? Oh, shit. Okay, ready? On three. One, two, three!
You first. We need you up top. Uh, 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 okay, come on! Clem! Sarah, we have to go! Are you listening? Now, Clementine! If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her! Don't let her take you down, too. Not again. Look, I know what you're trying to do, and it's not going to work. I can't! I can't! I can't! Daddy! I'm... Snap out of it, Sarah! Please! You can't save her, Clem. We have to go! Believe me, I know about this. Hurry up! <gasps> oh! Move! <laughs> Clementine! Grab her! Ugh. We gotta go. Sarah. Come on. Look, I hate to ask this, but are we there yet? <laughs> We're not far. Look, Sarah, you can get through this. We both will. But I'm not okay. Just try. Can you do that? She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. I don't know about this. The way she is, she's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. It's just the way things are. It's okay, I get it. Things aren't always simple. And just because you got her out of there today, doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. I just... I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the roof. Like I had already made up my mind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning, she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I... I couldn't make her jump. Couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted. And I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? Jane, I'm really sorry. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Sarah isn't dangerous. She's gonna be okay. Fine. Just be careful. Come on. Let's get back to your friends.
Son of a bitch. You found him? Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready, I'm just glad you're here. Mm. Oh. Is, this, is that baby coming soon? Oh, oh, I'll be okay. Just help me walk around a bit. I'll fill you in. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's hey, Clem, could you come over here with me for a minute? I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know. Does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Just in case? He could try. At this point, I'd take anyone who's even been in a delivery room. And that just leaves... Kenny. He went in there after he left. Said he needed a minute by himself. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. Uh, I'll go in there. Thank you, Clem. I really do think that might be best. <sighs> I wanted to check on you. Make sure you're okay. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck, Katya, Sarita. No peace, no rest. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That's not true. You help me all the time. I need you. Hmm. I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. But, uh, thanks for saying that. Now, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. Don't be stupid. It could be infected. Well? Oh shit, does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? We should see what's going on. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. Is that supposed to happen? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. This place doesn't seem safe for a baby being born. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick.
The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah? You just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem... I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking... How do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I trust Jane. Yeah. I mean, I would have never made it back without her. Just something to think about. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. Maybe I should go with Jane. Better hurry and catch up then. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast, and let's be careful. Oh, hey. I knew you'd be here. Well, yeah. I told you I was coming here. Anyways. Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. Partner? Don't let it get to your head. Let's go. I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. Check this out. This gate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? If it's locked, maybe there's still food. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. A nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement, so they're safe. I guess it's broken. Find anything? No, not even trash.
How can I help? If you can find anything to help me get this open faster, that'd be great. Take a look around. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I think I almost had it. Keep looking. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind. Though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. this way and who knows if he has friends nearby why is he coming up here no idea but we should scope him out and see what he's up to I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others we've got enough on our plates with a baby coming last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood maybe I can try talking to him good call shit hide now I just want to talk to you. Do you understand me? Yes. I am Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially Malinka Devochka. Uh, little girl. Jane, he has a gun. Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. No, I have no more guns. I swear. Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. Is it just you and your sister? No. I have many friends. In the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No! You are not nice people! You have already left me defenseless, and now you... You take my sister's medicine? You are worried! Hey! We've got people who are suffering. Who need this medicine? Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it! Clementine, we need people that stuff! People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special! Clementine, yes, you must We don't believe, believe a fucking word about your sick Please sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Oh, Bosha. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. You don't have to do this. Just let me go. Jane, don't do it. Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go.
can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Threatening some stupid kid? I thought we were just gonna talk to him. I needed to make sure he didn't come back here again. Go get the others. I'm gonna get this place opened. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. thing we need right now. What happened? He had a bunch of medicine and stuff. Jane wanted to take it. Yeah? Well, did you? Well, I, uh, I'm glad you're okay. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah. She's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm never quite sure if she just done like people, or just plain out done like me. I'm still not sure what to think about her. She's strong, and she's been helping us, but she's cold. Maybe, but nobody's that cold. I'm definitely starting to think we might need to branch out. What do you mean? Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just, he seems broken. And broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. But I just think he's had to take more than he can handle. You're wrong. Kenny's stronger than anyone. He tries to protect us. I don't know, Clem. I know he's your friend and all. But what Kenny did to Carver, it sounded like he beat right through the corpse and into the f not supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. Clementine. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. I told you. You're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. There's a room up there that might be good for when Rebecca has the baby. Jane's trying to get it open. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. Alvin was a good man. He was nice to me, and always looked out for everyone. That man had one of the biggest hearts of anybody I've ever met. I should have told him that more often. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? You're going to be a good mom. We sure have come a long way since we first met, huh? You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ugh. Oh, shit. I got this. 
We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while, and I'm not saying I don't trust him, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on him. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. Are you okay, Kenny? Sure. Why wouldn't I be? Hey, Clem. I thought you went with Jane. She didn't take off, did she? Take off? Why do you think she'd take off? Well, it's just a... a feeling. We found a place for Rebecca to have the baby. An observation deck with a gift shop. It's way up high and pretty safe from the wind. Oh, that's great. Just give me like ten more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty-handed. But I just want to help. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I'll watch this side, you watch the other. Deal. Jane said these don't work anymore. Nah, they're just for show. Be handy, though. Also really loud. Good point. You think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? Oh, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come with me. No, I wanted to. Never mind. I sure hope we can find something to take back. Me too. I can't believe Rebecca's about to have a baby. Kind of blows your mind, doesn't it? I guess. There have sure been some animals through here. Watch where you step. Empty. Any luck? No, not so much. Unless you want some broken glass. Souvenirs, huh? Looking for a keychain with your name on it? No. Why would I want a keychain? I don't even have any keys. Ah, oh, good point. I tell you, I sure don't like being near a graveyard with the world the way it is now. Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Kenny said we need blankets. It's not really a blanket, but... But it should do the trick. Good call. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. It seems like you're with us now. That's what matters most. Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh... We can't put Rebecca in a Confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. Lee would have loved this place. Do you see anything good? Not so far, but let's give the place a good going over.
Nothing but junk in there. Trust me. Over here. Water. Bottled and clean. That's just what we need. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. No, I mean, maybe... Are you sure you can't get it open? Okay, no, that's all right. Maybe I can just reach through to the lock. Bonnie! Jesus Christ! Something's got Pull me! Pull the before it bites Help you! me, please! It's coming! Hold on! <laughs> Well, that happened. You okay, Bonnie? It's just a bump. I'm gonna be all right. Christ, that would have been a stupid way to die. Sorry you got banged up. Not sure my face was my best feature anyway. Come on, that's not true. Let me see your arm. No, I... I didn't get bit, just old scars. At least now we got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. <laughs> hey, I got this. That looks pretty heavy. Uh, it's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shells were always full. We'll make a plan. Everyone will have enough. I hope so. That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys! Come on, stick close. I just walked on in like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon? I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. Not like, I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I am starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Where is it? I think it went over there. Over here! Oh! Oh, shit! Shoot! Dang it! Not with the walkers out there. I'm even hungrier than I was before. How'd I get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon? Well, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah, it does. There's a few folks that could use a hot meal. It's probably for the better. Come on. Let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. We don't have much time to waste. You're telling me your arms ain't tired? Nope. I could do this all day. No! No! Shit! Shit! Oh God! Breathe no! like I told you. Okay. 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 Oh God! Oh God!
Oh no! Oh. Oh. Clem! Clementine! Oh. Shit! Walkers! How'd they get that close without anyone seeing them? The hell's Luke? Kenny, we've got to do something. You just keep that baby safe. Kenny, we can't stay here. Clementine, where's the place you and Jane found? I'll show you. Good. Someone help me up. Oh, God, there's so many. We uh, uh, got to get out of here. Mike, help Kenny. On it. Sarah, get going! Jesus. Clem, I, I don't think he's okay. He's losing it. I mean, that... that isn't... He's doing it to protect us. Sure, but... Uh. Kenny! Come on, man. Let's go! about as human as I've felt in a long time. I almost forgot what... Clementine! G Jesus, Clem, it's just not... Uh... What's going on? Well, uh... I mean... In here. Let's get you comfortable. What the fuck are you two doing up here? Kenny, what's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. I'm reckless. You know, you got a lot of nerve, Kenny. Rebecca's having the baby. Now? No! Fuck. I'm sorry. Shit. Right Shit. over here. Uh. They're coming up the stairs. Here. Uh, we should. You want to uh. help. Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs. Shoot them before they get to us. I'm staying with you. Fine, fine. Help her relax. Everything's gonna be all right. Just try to calm down. Stop telling me to be calm. You have to be strong. We're all here for you. Can't do this. Grim, just make it stop. Please. This baby is coming, like it or not. I can't. But you have to. You can do this. You've gone through too much to give up now. Okay. Okay. I can. I, oh, I can do it. Just don't let go. Good. Good. Clem, you need to get out there and help the others. I've got this. Keep shooting. They are not getting up here. We're gonna run out of ammo. Find something to block this gate. Help us. Don't let it open! We can't hold it forever! They're gonna pile up on us! The hinges are giving! We need something to block it! We could block the gate with this! I'll help, I'm coming! Together! Ready? Oh shit! Holy fuck! What the fuck is going on out there? Get back! Get back! Oh, shit! Oh. Jane! Sarah, hang on! Fuck! Fuck, hurry! I can't hold on! Help me! Clem! Come on! Jane! Save Sarah! Are you crazy? There's no way she's getting out of that. Pull me up. It's suicide. Just pull me up. Please, Clementine. We can't leave her without even trying. Just go! 
Hey, Clementine. Hey. How's he doing? He's perfect. Who's a perfect little man? Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? What are we gonna do now? We can't stay here, can we? I've gotta rest. It's getting colder. Clementine, I can't think about that right now. We'll think of something. Just not this second. I'm fine, I'm fine. I just wish I could get warm. Clem, why don't you give her that coat we found? Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? Do you want to hold him? Could I? Of course. Your family. Here. Sister. <laughs> Here, let me take him. You both should rest. Especially you. When's the last time you slept, Kenny? Oh, about two years ago. I'm fine. Plus, somebody's gotta watch you while Mama gets your beauty sleep. You never forget that smell. Oh, shit. 
shit. What are you doing? Listen, I'm sorry. I've got to go. I understand. Good. I was worried this was going to turn into a thing. You know, Jamie, Sarah, I'm not going to stick around and watch it happen to you two. You know the score. You're a smart kid. I'll be okay. Sure. But give it enough time, and everyone's luck runs out. Listen, when the shit hits the fan, because it always does, remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. They'll make you feel like you do. Like it's all one happy family. Yeah, I know. Good. Okay. You take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. Versatility is not overrated. Thanks. Yeah. I, uh... I gotta go. You'd be asleep by now. You okay? It's nothing, Luke. Don't worry about it. Okay. Just checking in with you. The temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while. You know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore. See if we can find some place to scavenge. What? Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? Damn it! Hey, keep it down. Sorry. I... Sorry. Just... Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit... Childish? God damn it, Kenny, you know what, just lay off. No, you put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two could roll around like fucking teenagers. Look, I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not all right. What do you want from me? You guys are both acting like jerks. All you guys do is fight. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I fucked up. But you know what, Jane, she made an offer. Jesus Christ, I needed it, okay? I mean, look around you, okay? Everything is shit. So forgive me for wanting to enjoy one moment of something else. Fine. But this baby, he's what matters now. Got it? So get your shit Jenny, together. Where's my baby? Is everything all right? Everything is fine. We're gonna need a good place to raise him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north, get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. Clem's got a point. That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from here. Whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa, whoa! What are you talking about? <coughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days, at the least. We've got that baby formula. And won't help the rest of us. And what about shelter? We'll freeze out here. Kenny's right. We should leave in the morning. Rebecca is not in any condition to travel. I'll be fine. If there's a chance there's food, we have to risk it. <sighs> okay, fine, if that's what you want. Look, we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day.
<coughs> Sorry. Okay, Bex. It's gonna be all right. You all right? She's exhausted. We all are. I can keep going. We should have stayed put. We should have stayed put until she was in better shape. She wasn't gonna get no better back there. We gotta find food. Get her someplace warm. This look like someplace warm to you? We can still turn back. That's not an option. Everybody hang in there. We gotta keep moving if we're gonna make it to that town before nightfall. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. You gotta lighten up, okay? You're pushing them too hard. I'm just doing what has to be done, like always. Luke's right. Everyone's tired. I know they are, but waiting's only gonna make things worse. You agreed with me on that last night. Uh, uh, oh. Oh, here. There's a place to sit. Rebecca, let me take the baby. Uh, he's okay. I've got him. No. You rest for a minute. I'll wash him. Back off, Kenny. She said she doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? I ain't being weird about it. Yeah, you kind of have been. And not just right now. Kenny knows what he's doing. He's been a dad before. That's not the part I was concerned about. Hello? What is this? Arvo? Arvo? Jane and I met him on the observation deck. Before everyone else came. That's the guy? You know this son of a bitch? Well, what's he want? He doesn't look like much. That ain't the point. Hello? Please? He has a sick sister. They might be in trouble. <sighs> All right. Hello. Your name is Clementine. Yes? Hi, Arvo. These are your friends? I'm hoping you can help me now, not like before. All of you can help. What do you need? How can we help? I need, uh, uh things for bandages. I need bandages. Are you hurt? No. Nikaki Arushi! Nikaki Arushi! Nikaki Arushi! Fuck! Это они? Да. Это они. Скажи им, чтобы они поставили их оружие на пол, и что мы забираем все, что они имеют. Что ты хочешь, чтобы я взял? Откуда я знаю? Что будет? We don't want any trouble. I told them you are the ones who robbed me. They think it's funny that you're just a little girl. Robbed? And they want you and your friends to put down the guns, so we can take your things. Whoa, whoa, hang on now. What the hell? Why get excited? It wasn't me who took your stuff. It was Jane. It, it wasn't any of us. Jane? Where's the other woman? I do not see a woman who was with you. She's gone. She left the group. It's a trap. I know it. And you know that they are hiding. Hey, hey, hey. This can be easy for you. Arvo, tell them that they opened the weapons. All of you, just put your guns down. This will be fine. Find my ass! 
We have a baby. You have a baby with you? У них родничковый ребенок. Если ты знаешь, что хорошо до тебя, опусти оружие сейчас и слишком много. Пурику, отойди. Drop that now or I'm gonna fucking shoot it. I'll do it. Drop it. Drop it. Don't fucking don't move. I said don't move. Ты хочешь умереть? Зли меня. Ты думаешь, что я хороший мужик? Пурику, пурику, остановись. Опусти оружие. Тебе не зачем это делать. Стреляйте. Я не хочу умирать. Look at me. Do 